A bill that aims to make daylight saving time year round has moved forward in the California legislature. The measure just needs Governor Brown's signature before it could go to California voters. KSBY's Kelsey McFarland explains what that change could look like. And Kelsey, lots of people have an opinion on this. Pretty strong ones too. Absolutely, Richard. The bill would ask voters to repeal a 70 year tradition of changing our clocks twice a year. The bill's creator says the practice is outdated and a detriment to public health. Whether you keep track of it electronically or more traditionally, time is valuable. Some enjoy that time a little more during daylight saving time. But the daylight savings just, you know, brings you out. I mean, it, it's great for the businesses. It's great for yourself. Very therapeutic. No, I love it. Some California lawmakers want to spring forward and never turn the clocks back again. But why? It's widely thought that daylight saving time was created to give farmers an extra hour of sunlight. They needed that, you know, to get out there and do their crops, and it just had to change during that time of year. But that's a myth. Local farmer Angela Schultz says she'd actually prefer staying on standard time year round. Having more hours in the morning, it's the cooler hours, so that's the best time, time to work. Um, but in the winter, it's nice to have more evening hours, of course. Either way, she'll rise with the sun. As far as working out on the farm, uh, we'd rather just have consistency. <laughs> Originally, springing forward was designed to save energy. The Energy Department estimates the extra four weeks of daylight saving saved about 0.5% in total electricity per day in 2008, which adds up to electricity savings of 1.3 billion kilowatt hours. Governor Brown has not said whether or not he will sign this bill, but if he does so by June 28th, it will be on the November ballot. And if he signs it afterward, it could go to voters in fall of 2020. Live and local in San Luis Obispo, Kelsey McFarland, KSBY News. All right, thank you, Kelsey. If voters do approve the measure, the issue would then go back to lawmakers. It would require a new bill and <laughs> approval by two-thirds of both houses in the legislature.